Hey, what's up everybody? Mark here. Today I'm working on some coasters and some signs that are biblical or Christian in nature. And I ran across a thing that I was doing that I realized, you know what, I should stop and record this because somebody might benefit from this. In this case, I'm doing a phrase that says amazing grace. I'm going to add how sweet the sound on the bottom. And you'll see here this top script for amazing the letters Z and I don't connect. And in this case, I kind of want them to connect so that I can cut this out and keep it all nice and strong and solid. So I need to have a line that connects the Z to the I. There are a couple of ways to do that. I could use the pen tool and I could draw an arc. I could probably use the line tool and bend it a little bit. But And, and those would probably be, be better ways to do this in this case. However, I'm going to show you a little trick that I do a lot that'll make it a little easier for you sometimes. Sometimes you've got fonts that just have a natural uh, swirl or amount of curves to it that you want to match. And in that case, sometimes you can use another letter or symbol in that font grouping to help emulate that curve. Watch this. So I'm gonna go to the text tool. I'm gonna type out, uh, in this particular font, it's called Beloved Script. I'm just going to type a parentheses, okay? Make it a little bigger, like this. And I'm going to then right-click and make it an outline so it's just a shape. I'm going to thicken it up a, a, quite a bit using a stroke until I get it around the thickness of the font that I'm, I'm getting ready to match. And you can already see before I even get done that I'm going to be able to use this as a connecting piece. Let me make it just a little bit thicker. Then I'll go to Object, Path, and Outline Stroke. And then I'm gonna to go to Pathfinder down here on the right for me, it could be somewhere else for you, and Unite, so that now that's just a shape, okay? And I'm gonna zoom in here. I'm gonna to go to Outline Mode, which is uh, Command-Y on a Mac. And you can already see I'm almost there already. And I can just do one of these right here I'm going to lay it right on top, have this one end of it completely inside the eye, and then I can decide where I want this other end to be. Uh, I'm just going to rotate it a little bit. I'm going to put it right about somewhere in this neighborhood right here. I think I like that look. And then all I got left to do is either erase this end of it or delete the nodes. Let's uh, go to the eraser tool, and I'm going to make it a little smaller. And I can just erase this end of it, just like that. Let's go back to outline mode. I mean, sorry, the regular mode. And then you see that it looks like it's connected. All I got to do now is select that piece, the uh, Amazing Grace. And then I can go to Pathfinder Unite. And now that's all one piece, just like that. So that's one way that you can connect pieces of a font that are not connected by using other symbols in that same font. I hope that helps you guys. Let me know if you have any questions and have fun creating something cool today.